Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Kerry Irving scores career and franchise high 60 points as Brooklyn Nets rout Orlando Magic Brooklyn Nets star Kerry Irving scored a career high 60 points and matched an NBA season high in points on Tuesday in a brilliant display of scoring. Irving followed Carl Anthony Town 60 points on Monday against the San Antonio Spurs. One of the premier shotmakers in the NBA with great ball handling skills, Irving finished 20 for 31 from the field including 8 for 12 on three-pointers and 12 for 13 from the foul line. In the Nets 150-108 victory against the Orlando Magic, Irving scored 41 of his points in the first half, setting Nets and individual records. It was the most points by a Nets player in a first half since the league began tracking stats by half in 1996-97 the highest scoring half in Irving's career and the most points in a half by a player this season. In the first two quarters, Irving made 14 of 19 shots, including 6 for 7 on three-pointers and 7 for 7 from the foul line. Had it not been a blowout, Irving would have had a chance to pass town 60 points, but he checked out of the game with 8 to 32 left in the fourth quarter after collecting his 60th point. Irving and Kevin Durant each have two 50-point games this season, and they become the second pair of teammates in NBA history to record multiple 50-point games in a season, joining Elgin Baylor, 5, and Jerry West, 2, with the 1961-62 Los Angeles Lakers, according to the Elias Sports Bureau. They are also the first pair of teammates to score at least 50 points in back-to-back -back games. Irving also has six rebounds, four assists, four steals and one block in Tuesday night as win. The seven-time All-Star has been under intense scrutiny this season. The unvaccinated Irving has not been unable to play in games in New York because of the city's policy that requires private sector employees to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Irving and the Nets are hopeful New York City Mayor Eric Adams will drop the policy by the time the NBA postseason begins in the second week of April, allowing Irving to play in all playoff games.